There's a fish right there. Let's see what we got. First fish of the day, and it's going to always be a little speckled trout here at Milton, Florida, but that's okay. They'll get bigger. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> First cast, got a fish. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean here. Windy, cold day here in Milton, Florida, and I'm here with Ricky Wallace. Made a drive down here all the way from old North Alabama, but it didn't take long, about five and a half hours. And I tell you, it is beautiful up here. The water temp is right at 64 degrees on the surface. And what kind of fish, Ricky? Uh, we will able to catch a speckled trout, a redfish, a jackfish, chain pickerel, jackfish, same thing. Large mouth, uh, there's just no telling. No telling. There's no telling. And we're kind of fishing a brackish water situation here? Uh, or, yeah, it's mainly fresh up here. Mainly fresh. This is an interesting ecosystem. Anytime you have salt water, fresh water combined, there's no telling what we're going to catch today. Y'all stay with us. Let's do her, boy. Yep. Ricky had one on. He robbed him. Probably another little speckled trout right here. So I'm just going to start with a an ugly gaudy looking bait right here this is a 1 8 ounce jig head and i forget the name of this particular jig folks but what i'd like to catch is a redfish right here let's make us a cast i'm gonna let it hit the bottom i'm not gonna fish this bait real real fast until it warm the water warms up I'm going to treat this a little bit just about like bass fishing. Ah, I missed. That's them little trout. It's full of them in there. Now what I'm doing is using a 6 foot 6 tournament series gander mountain rod. It's medium action. 10 pound test power pro braid with a Daiwa spinning reel. This is a size 2500 reel right here. LT2500 smooth outfit i'm using about a nine foot fluorocarbon leader 12 pound test and if y'all noticed i've got my jig tied with a loop knot to give that bait a little more action a little more freedom but like i said i'm gonna have to change the different stuff to, we're gonna have to figure out what color what size what weight of jig head's gonna get it done today but we will figure it out let's catch another one now I'm working this bait pretty slow, folks. I'm just gonna move it about a foot at a time, pick it up off the bottom four or five inches and let the, the bait fall back. I'm gonna try that for a while. A lot of times just swimming it, throwing it out there and swimming it back is the way to catch them, but it's early in the morning, so I'm gonna fish a little bit slower than, now this afternoon I may speed up my retrieve a little bit. I figure that's what we're gonna have to do. There we go. There's a the fish. Let's see what we got here, folks. He ain't very big, but we got him. Well, I don't know. He's getting a little bigger now. He's growing up. He thinks he is. I'm interested to see what we got here in Milton, Florida. Well, look you here. What a speckled trout. That is, right that is a good, big old speckled trout. Yeah, old trap, we, didn't we didn't bring a net, but if he gets off, folks, he does. Yeah, he does. It's the sport of fishing. This is a dandy trout. This is a, not what you call a gator trout, but it's a big one. A one. We're just going to let him tire out right here. He'll finally get tired. Boy, that's a good one. That is a pretty... Best one I've seen this year out of here. Well, I got a good guide, Ricky. Look here now. I got a good guide. <laughs> All right. I get him. Yeah. Oh, he's so pretty good. I believe we got him good. We <laughs> he don't want to quit, folks. There he is. Woo-wee. 
folks, that's a good trout right there. That fish right there is around 20 inches long, probably. I'm just guessing. Well, you want to eat him for supper, you want to let him go? Let's eat him. You want to eat him? Yeah. Yeah, we'll eat him. We're going to measure him and make sure he ain't too big. He can't be over 21. Uh-oh, he can't be over 21. Mm. He's, um, 19 and 5 eighths. Well, wait a minute. Let me slip him back. No, he's actually not. Nineteen and a quarter. Yep, good fish. And folks, that's what you catch right here in Milton, Florida. Okay. Now this in here, we ain't gonna let him go. We're gonna eat him. That's some good eating right there. And notice how I got him right there. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially when you catfish. There we go. We got him, folks. I don't know what he is. He's shaking his head right here. I'm going to pull y'all out of the sun a little bit so y'all can see. I'm facing right into the sun. Now, this could be a large jaw. Large mouth. Or it could be a little redfish. I'm not sure. I know I got my drag too loose, don't I? Nah, it's a big trout. Got another big trout right here. Yeah. Good trout, Mr. Ricky. I want y'all to look right there. Now, ain't that pretty. They ain't nothing. Hey, whoa! Whoa! Like the sport of fishing. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, folks, but I had an adrenaline rush. Let's see if we can get him right here. Yeah. We got him. We don't need no net. <laughs> we'll do it the Tennessee River style here. That fish right there measure. Oh, yeah. He ate that up, didn't he? He did. See how he ate that bait, folks? We found the right bait. I had to go through a series of baits, or Ricky and I had, did. If we want him, we'll keep him. Look at there, what a fish. Ain't that pretty. Orange mouth, and that's got one tooth. Okay. He's just like Clarence. Got that one tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Everybody goes in my boat with me, has outfished me so far. Well, what it is, you're just a courteous guide. You just let them take the front of the boat and do their thing. That's basically why. The front man has always got the advantage when it comes to fishing. That's just my opinion. Uh, okay. But I know what you're doing. You're letting me catch these fish. <laughs> I just started here in a minute. <laughs> let's, let's catch another one, folks. <laughs> I hope I caught that on Oh Lord I hope I, I caught that look on there I believe I did <laughs> Now that fish should have got caught Shouldn't he We're going to pull on up here and try a few more casts Folks And then I think we're going to work Down this shoreline But these points Seem to be paying off Now I'm working this bait slow The water temperature is pretty cold i don't think there's any need to just rip a bait mullet that's a good deal you want to see them mullet jumping like that folks oh i just got bit right there what do we got here now this in here might not keep though i don't know we're gonna flip him in the boat folks <clears throat> they gotta be how long i forgot 15. 15 inches. He eat that bait. He sure did. It's down his goozle. All right, let's get her plars, I hope, to him. Ricky told me when we pulled up on this spot, he said, now, get ready because one of us, if not both of us, is going to catch a fish. It's a guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed spot. spot. <laughs> see if we can get her out. There we go. All right, we're going to measure him up because what we're going to do, we decided we wanted dinner, speckled trout for supper. <laughs> so this will be a little 
catch, clean, and cook. How long, Ricky? 15. He's short. He is 14, and I'm going to say three quarters, maybe 13 sixteenths. Folks, that's close, but you know what? It's the law. So let's put him back. Get on back in there. That, yeah, they're gaining a lot of weight, ain't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> This is a good one. I, we got us a red right here, folks. That's a good fish right here. I believe we. Feels like a. He took off like a little red. Man, he's growing up though. He's getting a little bigger. I really don't know how big he is. Could be, because they fight once they get around 19 inches. I believe it's a red, though. It sure feels like it. Woo-wee, folks. Milton, Florida. <laughs> I got to keep him out of that trolling. Remember, this is a good fish right here on 10-pound braid. And I'd rather use the 10-pound braid, 12-pound fluorocarbon, fishing this way but that's just an opinion he's just everywhere he's a good one so what i'm gonna have to do is flip the boat so i can take control of it because he's he's got me where he wants me now now we got him he's not really moving quick enough for a striker i don't think now that's the sport of fishing, folks. I do not like to hoss fish. I believe it's, what fun is it? Take your time, fight him. That's a keeper, ain't it? Look at here, look at here, look at here. bursal has got big nose hairs. Okay. That's a good fish right here. He fought bigger than he was, but folks, I'm going to tell you, that's a lot of fun. Notice how wide his belly is and how red he is. That's the count of the water he's coming out of. We'll bring it right here. Well, Ricky. I don't get the red fish right here. <laughs> you did. You can get him. Get him. You can get him. I got him plumb wore out. Now, I... <laughs> look at there look at there look at captain ricky Woo! okay <laughs> y'all don't pay no attention to me i ain't right <laughs> thank you <laughs> well you're welcome I like that Carolina skiff. That's all you need in here. Uh, it's a great it is. They are. Y'all have a good one. Hey. <laughs> oh, we're going to measure this fish here and see. So we got. He's perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's put him in the bucket right here, folks. Redfish. Redfish. Red drum or channel bass. There's three names for them. Woo, we're going to eat tonight. Well, folks, we're back. I tell you what, we're going to be lucky tonight because Ricky's wife, Janine, said that she would cook these up for us. So this is going to be a catch and cook. That's a pretty good redfish right there. And, uh, doggone good trout we got another one right here too we caught several fish but that's the only keepers that we caught and that's enough for dinner all righty let's show you how we're going to clean these trout i scale them i don't try to skin trout just, just uh, the skin is so thin 
very, very fine thin. It's, uh, it doesn't have any taste or anything like that. So it doesn't hurt anything. Scale him up. That trout will nearly feed me and you both, won't it? Just about. Pert near. That's the biggest one I've seen out of the river this year. Wow. So, that's a good one. They got a lot of power when they get that big. They, yeah, they do. I'm going to rinse him off a little bit. Start right here. Cut down to the backbone. Ease way down. I was on them rib bones just once. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty, pretty fillet right there. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of meat and a lot more than I mm -hmm. thought. And the way I do them, I just cut them in chunks like that. Mm -hmm. Makes them a lot easier. How come that knife's cutting them so good, Ricky? What's the deal right there? That is a handmade Wallace knife from Wallace Knife Works. There's not very few people that does that now. <laughs> and that's when a lot of it's from refurbished metal, isn't it? Refurbished, is that how you say it? Yeah, refurbished, uh, repurposed is what they say nowadays. Repurposed. That was actually a, an old skill saw blade, 12 inch skill saw blade. Uh huh. That's what that one was. And that's real steel. You can keep them sharp. It's not like this cheap stainless steel stuff you buy in the stores. Yeah. You can actually sharpen them like the old case knives. Yeah, case still makes a good knife. Mm-hmm. But they're uh, quite expensive. Yeah, they are. But they, they are good knives. Okay, not case. It's a... Uh... The oldest knife company, I think, is Boker. Boker. Boker, they're still in business. And that's all they are to it. That's all they are to it, folks. So I guess we're going to get them cleaned and we're going to take them in the house and the master chef is going to cook it. Janine. Keep this back on also. A lot of people don't fool with them. I don't know if we'll cook these tonight or not. And fry that real brown and crispy. Sweetest meat on the fish. Eat the tail, eat the fins, eat all that meat in there. Mm -hmm. And it's good for you. It's good for you. <laughs> well, folks, we made it inside. The fish are clean, and we have the master shell right here. Jimmy Wallace. And she's going to demonstrate the correct way, southern style, to cook a fish. Janine? Well, I just use yellow cornmeal. I prefer it to the white cornmeal. And I use just salt and pepper. And mm -hmm. then I make sure my fish are good and wet. And then I just dunk them in. And then make sure your pan is hot. And then it goes in. Mm -hmm. When you hear it sizzling, just... Look at that. <laughs> we caught some good ones today. I, I had the best guide here in this area. He put us on the fish. Well, Janine, thank you very much for this. Well, you're welcome. Appreciate y'all watching. All the great comments. And, hey, woo. Call it.